So a little late night walk with you, boy. There's a little mindset that I like to tap into. I'm going to try and keep this quick. When I need to ramp things up in a certain area of life, right? I always tell you boys about energy and how important energy is and how important momentum is in certain areas. So for example, the past month I've been in Thailand, right? Naturally, all the aspects of my life, to be honest, other than my time with my girl and eating fucking shitty food and having sex, all the other areas of my life have been lacking in momentum and lacking in energy. I've been working out every day. I've been doing business work every day, of course, but it's not to the extent that I'm satisfied with, all right? So what this means is those areas are lacking in momentum. So it means if I left it now, if I did no business work at all, it wouldn't take too long until it started to deteriorate, right? Whereas if I gave my business loads and loads of energy and the momentum built up like crazy, like I had two months videos scheduled in advance or something like that, I could leave the business for a little bit and it wouldn't fail. It would keep surviving by itself, right? That's what momentum is. And this can apply to anything. This can apply to the gym. This can apply to your social life. This can apply to your mental health, whatever it may be. Everything you give energy to is slowly building momentum up in that area. Now, if something starts to lack for whatever reason, you go on holiday for the past month or you're ill or you get some sort of disease and you're in hospital for a month or some shit like that, right? To the point where you can't give energy to your, your aspects of life that you want to, you want to tap into a mode called war mode. Now, I used this before I went to Thailand and I'm using it now that I'm back from Thailand. And it's basically a mode where you dedicate all of your mental, physical and sexual energy into nothing but one chosen aspect of your life. So for me personally, it's currently the business side of things and finances, right? So what I'm doing for the next week, and I recommend a week tops because this shit is extreme, right? It is extreme. It does drain you and you are going to be sacrificing your health to some degree. If you are cho if you're choosing to focus on the business for the next week, you're going to be sacrificing your health. So it basically just means you're sacrificing all of the aspects of your life and you're putting your energy into the one lacking aspect. So my fitness and my health and my social life and all the other things, mental health, all of that stuff is kind of okay right now. It's kind of good. Like I don't need to worry about that too much, right? The one thing that I really need to put a lot of energy into is the business because that's the one thing that I've been slacking on the most. I haven't been recording as many videos while I'm in Thailand, etc., etc. So that's what I need to put my energy into. So war mode basically means I wake up early, I go to sleep late, and I sacrifice things like walking to the gym and getting in a proper long hour workout. The workouts that I do are simply just push-ups in between, in between, you know, business work and stuff like that. So I'm still doing other things, but the majority of my energy, pretty much 95% of my energy is put all into the business every single day, non-stop all day for nearly fucking 24 hours. Some days I'll sleep an hour and I'll literally dedicate all of my energy into the business, recording videos, community posts, Telegram posts, Instagram stories, reaching out to clients, all of that kind of stuff to make, and the goal is basically just to build up as much momentum as possible in the business area. And you can apply this to the gym. Maybe you've been slacking on your health. Maybe you haven't been to the gym in ages. Sacrifice all the other shit, sacrifice all your business work, all your studies, and dedicate an entire week to just the gym. Just working out every single day. You're working out training for like six hours a fucking day, bro. Just blitzing it. As much momentum as possible. As much momentum as you feel like you need to get to a good level again. Now, this does sound extreme and you are going to be sacrificing certain other aspects of your life, which, you know, is a part of life. Everything is a sacrifice for something else. Right now, me recording this video is a sacrifice for me working out. I could be working out instead. So every action that you do is sacrificing something else. And sometimes if there's an area where you are lacking in in your life, it's good to just tap into war mode for a couple of days to maybe maximum a week to just build up momentum in the area. So you feel satisfied, you feel good in that area again. All right, just a little tip to take in. And when I am in war mode, which I'm in currently right now, the only time I'll ever not do something or the only time I'll do something other than business is when I'm working out, which is obviously just in between business sets anyway. So I'll literally just, I'll record a video, I'll get down, do 20 push-ups, and then, you know, back to the videos again. So that's kind of my workout. I'll do that throughout the day. I'm getting a good workout in by doing that. And then maybe I'll take some time out to spend time with the family or spend time socializing or something like that. Or I'll go to my girl's house and see my girl for the night. But I'm talking, I won't sleep, bro. I'll do what I need to do with my girl and make sure she's happy and satisfied. And then I'm staying up all night back to business, right? So they're the only kind of breaks, I guess, that I take when I am in war mode. It's uh, very, very extreme, very military-like, and you just commit yourself to one aspect of your life until you've built the momentum up. I remember 
way before I left for Thailand, I'd literally just sit in my room, I'd do community posts or telegram posts and reach out to clients all day in my room for hours nonstop. The only time I'd break was for, to do push-ups or to go for a piss or to get some water refill or something like that. And then bam, straight back in war mode again. Now I don't do this often. I only ever do it if there's an area that's really, really like urgently lacking. For example, right now, I'm about to run out of videos that are scheduled. So I need to get on it and get back in that mode again to make sure the videos are scheduled for the next month to make sure I'm getting the daily videos out. So I don't do it often. My life isn't just sad like that. I don't just sit in my room all day. It's, it's a bit it's a bit extreme, right? So you, don't, you don't want to live like this. You want to make sure it's something you just tap into every now and then. But it's a very useful and handy tool to have in your arsenal if you need it. So just keep that in mind. Don't be afraid of hard work. Don't be afraid of sitting down and dedicating yourself to something for literally the entire day. It's okay to do that every now and then. Now, you know, me out of all people will tell you, you know, it's good to balance your energy into different things. But every now and then, yeah, of course, dedicate yourself to something. Don't be fucking scared of tasks. Don't be scared of hard work. Sit down and get it done and you'll feel good for it. You feel productive. You'll feel like, you know what? I like this. It makes you fulfilled, especially if you're a masculine individual. It makes you feel fulfilled in your soul. I can't really explain it, but it's just a really good feeling. So just a little message for you on this beautiful evening. Don't be scared of hard work. I'm going to go keep getting some videos done. And then I'm going to go home, get my community post done, reply to some clients, get some coaching calls. I've made more money than I've ever made in my entire life just this past week. And it's because I'm sat here in fucking warm mode every day, just dedicating myself, dedicating myself, dedicating myself. And <clears throat> the momentum builds up. Before you know it, I can take the foot off the gas a little bit, right? Because the money just keeps coming in. The momentum's built up. The videos are recorded. I don't have to worry about it no more. I can take the next month and just maybe direct my energy into the gym again or into my social life or into my girl again, right? And just different things. And that's how you find that perfect balance. Every now and then, an area in your life will start to lack. War mode, bring it back to speed. And then you can just keep doing that until every area is kind of at the same length, at the same level. And you just balance it out like that. And that's kind of how it works, right? That's how your energy works. That's how momentum works. Keep that in mind. Look after yourself. The coaching is down below if you want to learn from me. Excuse me, on a personal level. See you soon, lad. Take care. Boom.